the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. And also what also what happened is that, you know, a lot of these people, it's something that pe Americans kind of don't have, don't get yet. Uh, this isn't a Mexican problem anymore, specifically, as far as the cartel of violence going on. A lot of these people had their kids up here in the U.S. in the 90s. A lot of these cartel guys, you know, El Chapo has kids, had kids in the U.S. And a lot of these people are now coming of age, you know. Um, so cartel influence in the U.S. is a thing you're going to start seeing if you're already seeing it, but you're going to see more of it because a lot of these people are actually American-born U.S. citizens now working in, in tandem with any sort of interest down there. So oh. that's going to be the new shift, you know. And, uh, you know, pe people are sometimes kind of horrified by some of the stuff that I post up, some of the cases down there. Mm -hmm. uh, people can look up the Los Palillos gang in in Southern California. There were an actual cartel uh, group that would kidnap people in the U.S., dressed as federal agents in the U.S., and drag them back down to Mexico. Now, this happened a few, uh, almost, I think, like nine years back. But this is happening in the, U in the U.S. You know, it's not something foreign anymore. You know, a lot of people want to think that you, you can build a wall and keep all that down. Don't get me wrong. P build that wall. I have nothing against it. But selling it as a security thing, uh, it just, I don't, I don't think it makes that much sense. In a lot of, in a lot of the parts where it's, it is up, violence is rampant on both sides. But if the the uh, the argument would be that if the wall didn't exist, then it would be, be too wall. easy to come back and forth okay. um, at all spots. <coughs> um, yeah, it could could you know. But again, drug tunnels, uh, catapults, yeah, drones uh, for drugs. And, but in and, terms and, of like kidnapping people and a lot of other things, that you cut off at least some of the vehicle yeah, routes. I get, yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I, and I think again, I'm not against the wall. You know, build the wall. Um, uh, I interviewed a guy, uh, I, I do articles for a few magazines, and I interviewed a guy who's a, a, a coyote, you know, coyote. He moves people from the border. And he said this about the border. He was asking in the interview about the border wall. He said, it's good for business, you know. Uh, you make something seem like it's harder when it isn't, and it's good for business. Wow, so you say, listen, I can't get you over 3,000. It's got to be five now. Yeah. It's tighter. Yeah, or fly him to Canada and they walk down, which is, that was his, one of his, one of his new favorite methods. You mm. know? So Northern United States probably got a lot of Mexicans now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> the Canada border, border is hilarious. It's a path. Yeah. It's a carved out hundred yard path. We, we, we put pictures of it up the other day. We're like, look how hilarious this is. The difference between Mexico and Canada. So, Canada, they make it easy to know where the border is. Like, just get across here, eh? Yeah. You'll be fine. Snow Mexicans, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's really strange. Well, I mean, it's the, 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 the amount of creativity and, and problem solving that goes on on the, on the criminal side, you know? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, if, if, if your best plan is, is a wall, of a secure wall, these guys have been working against that best plan for the past 20 years. So they are, they're all already way ahead of the curve, mm. you know, in that regard, you know, uh, there was an interesting time in, uh, drone and people can look this up. Uh, t drone technology had a, had an upsurge in, in innovation in Tijuana out of all places in the world for a time, you know, mm. like why? That's funny. <laughs> you know, I why? wonder hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and what they were doing with those.